We look at Revelation chapter 19, verse 19, and I saw the beast. The beast is the primary antichrist. The scripture mentioned the word, uses the word beast on several occasions. But in this context, the beast here represent the primary antichrist. And the kings of the earth and their armies. Pay close attention, pay close attention to that word, armies. We have armies on the earth right now. Gather together to make war. Did you hear that? To make war. They are gathering together to make war against who? Against him that sat on the horse. Now the scriptures told us, him that sat on the horse is the coming King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Jesus Christ. He's coming back in the power, in the glory of his Father. He is almighty. He's coming back as the almighty God. Amen. Hallelujah. And against his army. So let's read that again. Verse 19, and I saw the beast and the kings of the earth and their armies gathered together to make war against him that sat on the horse and against his army. So they are gathering together to make war against Jesus Christ who is coming and against the army of Jesus Christ. The heavenly army of Jesus Christ. So we see right there people that the world is going to be in chaos when Jesus comes. We see that Jesus Christ is coming back to make war. He knows that he is going to have he knows that he's going to have to come back to make war in order to bring righteousness and peace throughout the whole world. He knows that there are multitudes and multitudes of people that are against him and that are preparing for war against him. Can you imagine that? Wait. Can you imagine waging war against a holy, holy God who have never been defeated? Where well, Satan is going to try to do just that. We can see it in the movies. Much of the movies are against God. Constantly using profanity. Constantly all of this sexual immorality. All in kids' faces. All in the cartoons. All in the music. It's all about the love of money. People don't care about your soul. Many people don't care about your soul. But Christians, those that know God, those that have been washed by the blood of the Lamb, supposed to care about your souls and their own souls. But the world do not. We have false Christ rising up. Just as Jesus Christ prophesied. 